Well, good morning. Good Should we take morning. these off? As Eric said, I'm Rob Quester. I'm the CEO of Bright Flame Books, or as I'm known in some circles, the Rob Quester. <laughs> Let me explain. Three years ago, we moved from the UK to Canada. And as you do when you change countries, the first thing you have to do is to find somewhere to live. So I was talking to realtors on the phone, and on one of the calls, realtor picks up the phone and he says, I, I said my name, and he said, can I ask you a question? Said, yeah, he said, are you the Rob Quester? Now, if you've done a lot of sales training, you've probably been told the sweetest sound to a person's ears is the sound of their own name. Let me tell you, it is so much sweeter when someone puts the word the in front of it with a real stress on it. Now, what had happened was, a couple of years before, one of his colleagues had picked up a copy of this, Six, Secrets of a Six-Figure Expert. She'd been to one of my live events. She'd picked up a copy. When she finished, she read it. And she went up to him and said, you've got to read this book. This guy really knows what he's talking about. It will transform your business. Now, think about that for a moment. When was the last time somebody picked up your business card and read it and got so excited they rushed to somebody and said, you've got to read this business card. It's really great. <laughs> it doesn't happen, but it does happen with a book. And my aim is that everybody in this room should have that happen for them, where somebody says, are you the whatever your name is? Now, it doesn't have to be everybody. It's part of a principle I call selective celebrity. Because when we think about being famous, we think, Total strangers are going to run up to us in the street and say, can I have your autograph? But it doesn't have to be everybody in the world. We just have to be selectively famous. We just have to have a number of people who know who we are. Who are those people? Well, right now, thousands of people around the world are searching for you. They're searching for you, but they don't realize they're searching for you because what they're looking for is a solution to their problem, and it's the solution that you've got. Now, where are they searching? They're searching on Google. They're searching on Amazon. What's the difference? Well, what are people searching for on Google? They're searching for free information. What are search people searching for on Amazon? They're searching for something to buy. So would you rather be approached by a bunch of freeloaders or a bunch of buyers? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So in this talk, I've got three objectives. First of all, I'm going to share three secrets with you that will get you to be selectively famous and to grow your business with a book. Secondly, I'll offer you something for free. Who likes free stuff? Raise your hand so I can see. Absolutely. And thirdly, I will extend an invitation for some of you, it's not everybody, but for some of you to continue our conversation one on one. So, principle number one. And you might want to write this down because it is important. If you can talk about what you do, you can turn it into a book. Let me say that again. If you can talk about what you do, you can turn it into a book. And in fact, you can turn it into a best-selling book that makes your competitors irrelevant. Now, a lot of the time, when I'm talking to people, they'll say to me, oh, I don't know what to write about, or I don't know enough, or I'm not a writer. So let me share with you the story of one of our clients, Vanessa. Now, she came to a live event just like this, and then at the end, she asked me for a consultation. And during the consultation, she said, inevitably, I don't know what to write about, I don't know enough, I'm not a writer. So three months later, we'd created this for her, True Worth, How to Charge What You're Worth and Get It. We turned it into a bestseller on three continents. And as a result of the book, first of all, she started getting invited to speak at international conferences. But something else happened as well. And that was a change to the lifetime value of her clients. Before the book, a customer who, started, who bought from her was worth $800. After the book, her lifetime value of a client became $8,000. Now, I don't know what a client is worth to you right now, but imagine every client who comes through the door being worth 10 times more. Who would like to add a zero to their income over the next 12 months? Absolutely. And that idea of lifetime value is really important. It's about the results we generate. Which brings us to our second secret, and again, you might want to write this down. Write down these two words, baseline strategy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, right now in your business, you are creating a set of results. Let's say that your lifetime value is the way that you're measuring those results. And why would we measure it with lifetime value? Well, because if we can get more money from a client, we can spend more money to acquire that client.
And there's an old principle in marketing that the company that can afford to spend the most to acquire a client will ultimately get that client. If I can spend more than a competitor to acquire a client and still be profitable, I can outspend them and I can get all the clients in the market. So you're generating those $5,000 a month or $5,000 per client because you're following a playbook. And that playbook tells you this is what we're going to do this month on social media. This is what we're going to do this month uh, in our phone calls. This is the number of calls we're going to make. This is how I'm going to position myself. Now the baseline strategy says keep following the playbook you're already using and then just find something else that you can add in, an extra chapter to that playbook that will improve your results. Now, your unconscious mind is a wonderful tool. It's designed to answer any question you give it. So I want to invite you to ask yourself right now, what is one thing that you could add to your playbook that would help you to improve your results, that would increase the value of your lifetime value of your clients, and would get you more money in your business? Let me talk about another of our clients, Frank. Now, when we had our free consultation, a couple of things came out about his business. First of all, his business was already a seven-figure business. But secondly, the lifetime value of a client for his business was $5,000. Now, if you've got a seven-figure business and a client is worth $5,000, that means every year you've got to get a lot of clients through the door. And what it was was his target market was hotel owners, but he was working with small hotel owners, hotels with 20, 30 bedrooms, single hotels. What he wanted to do was to start working with the international hotel chains, with the Marriott's, the Hilton's, the Holiday Inn's, people like that. So he created this book, Wake Up to the Great British Breakfast Scandal. And what it does in the book is it teaches those companies how his business can help them to grow their business. As a result of that book, the lifetime value of a client went up from, uh, from $5,000 to $160,000. That's more than 30 times, and yes, it is nice. <laughs> now, he was still selling exactly the same products, exactly the same services, but what he did was, he found a way to introduce what he did to a whole new crowd, a crowd that held it in a higher esteem and were willing to pay more for what he did. So that's the power of, lifetime, of changing lifetime value. Third thing I want to talk about is this, and write this one down again. Conversations equal clients. Conversations equal clients. When I'm talking to a potential client and they tell me they've got a problem with their marketing, I can usually track it back to their conversations. If they're not getting enough clients, guess what? They're not having enough conversations. If they're getting the wrong clients, they're having conversations with the wrong people. And if they're not getting high enough value clients, the, the conversations they're having don't have enough value. Now the great thing is, a book is a conversation. We don't have time to go out and talk to every potential client in our marketplace. But every potential client has time to read your book. So one of the things that changed for Frank as well as the lifetime value of his clients was, he started to say that all of the sales meetings had changed. Because when a client came up with a, an objection, he'd say, oh, I think you'll find we dealt with that on page 21. And there's something about a book, there's something about the human psychology. When something is written in a book, it becomes a lot more compelling and a lot more believable than just words. Doesn't it? Something else changed as well. His meetings got shorter. Because a lot of the objections that he used to get didn't come up anymore. Why? They were dealt with in the book. So now you've got shorter sales meetings, fewer objections, higher value. That's a powerful combination. Now, not all conversations are created equal. This is another of our clients. <coughs> Pardon me. It's another of our clients, Colin. As you can see, it's a rather larger book than the other two. Now, what Colin did was he gave this book to his marketing team after we'd finished creating it with him. And he said, turn this into articles. So they turned their book into hundreds of different articles. They used those on social media. They used them on their blog. They uh, created a couple of lead magnets out of it. He came over to Canada last year, last month, and I said to him, how's the book going? That book and those conversations are generating 14 additional clients 
every month for his business. That gets better because every client has a lifetime value of $112,000. I'll spare you the maths. 14 clients at $112,000, 12 months a year, is $19 million. So if, any, if you've ever wondered what $19 million looks like, <laughs> it looks like that. <laughs> so that's our three secrets. If you can talk about what you can do, you can turn it into a book. Pay attention to the baseline, the baseline strategy around long, lifetime value of a client. And conversations equal clients, and books are conversations. Was that useful? Yes. Fantastic. <laughs>